Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for taking so long to bring a new video. Um, now that work has started back on everything, things a little tight. Trying to, you know, come and do a little thing here, a little thing there, and bring a video every week and that kind of stuff as I was being able to do while the quarantine was on. As I would say right now, I tried my best to bring a video every time I could and keep everybody entertained so today i will be finally pulling down the lots um i found a body work man that's willing to deal with it and everything so i have to strip it carpet seats uh, headliner engine everything got come out and i just selling a sending a shell to him i am not sure how much i'm going to be able to get through with today as right now outside a bit overcast so uh, i don't know if this rain is going to come down or not and then it might take me a little while to do everything that i would like to do with it so for me this might be a couple days uh, for you it would just be one video so um if you enjoyed today's video like share subscribe comment and hit that notification bell so you could be up to date get notifications whenever i post a new video so here we go today all right so we could do before this rain actually comes down okay. now my first issue here i'm not sure if you can see it yeah massive hole there so uh, that's the only reason I got to take out all the carpet and thing. First of all, what you could do, you could take out this seat. See how much of this. Oh crap, that don't sound good. Oh, there's a screw. Oops. One thing I'd like to know from you guys. I want y'all to tell me in the comment section what y'all think about those 360 videos. If it is y'all would like to see more of them, especially at events. What y'all think we could do to improve them if they need improving. Whatever the case is. So, say what you have to say in the comment section about them. And I'll do whatever to suit the situation. I should really have on some gloves though. <sighs> I cannot find where this other boat is. Ah, there it is. Ah. There's one seat. Let me see here now. Let's see what damage is done. Yeah. Alright, you'll find some cockroaches and all kind of stuff in here. Maybe a mouse or two. I should really be going to put on some gloves. Ain't not enough for no girl being here. All right, this rain is not going to allow me to do what I want to do today. All right, rain settled itself. So we back over here again. I'm going to gloves this time. All right, so engine wise, and it comes to this car right now. I have an idea what I want to do, but I will not say what that is until I know for sure that's exactly what is happening. For those who know me, y'all know what I'm thinking about already. For those who don't, stay tuned. It will be a surprise for sure. That is the most I will say about that right now. I'll say no more. Honestly, I seen this being a some work. It will be some work to get done. That is for sure. But some of these scars, man, shouldn't allow them to die, man. Really shouldn't. Hopefully, I could give it a new life and let it stay that way for a little while. That is my plan. That's the idea for now. I am not sure how this box seat comes up, honestly. I am guessing it comes up the usual pull-up there, or 
I'm feeling a little bored at school here, but let me try checking it out and see what happened. Ah, Alright. Uh, so this is this come up. Whoa. Whoa. Got roaches and Everybody and everything had a few day back here. Yeah? Oh gosh, you gotta be very careful right now. Drag this out. I'll probably never be used again. We we'll see you. But they look like it had get body work already. Oh, you struggling long, boy. Bye. Yeah, he did know. That wasn't supposed to happen. These parts all and brittle either way. So I'm much getting away from break, not breaking them. Oops. Oh, that was a screw. Oops. Hey, look, another screw there. Let me bracket my notes. It's pretty good. From the inside, roof literally looks brand new. Sorry. Honestly, as I was saying, I really and truly don't know what you're doing. I just on scoring things right now. I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the ACD dash work I'm out. Okay. That comes off. That comes off. Oops. Your breath saying. Oh, there's another one. Oops. <laughs> one thing I have to say about old cars though. The simplicity of them. And they work so well. The parts hardly ever failing. I know you got new cars know that. Ugh, I don't know. Everything this one get real complicated and BCM this and BCM that and IPDM and smart control box and all kind of thing that the still supposed to help the vehicle work a lot so much better and all these electronics all over a car and everything is just feel a little easier and a little faster now and it's pretty annoying. I must say it is pretty annoying, but that's the world of life now. Oh, the car world, I should say. And there's not much you could do about it. But take it as it is, sadly. Oh, that's cool. Got another little compartment. Let's see if we could get so left compartment. And then you got a little piece here. That's cool. Ah, figure out saying up here. Not there, not there. Another not there, and this should move. Should be able to get out the cluster. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Um, back again. Day two. Um, yesterday the corporal had died, so. I continue working either way and I find some little interesting things here or there but yeah that's where it gives me some lists to tackle but it out either way so here we are right now uh, this is the most troubling part so far all up in there so I swear um, I gotta finish the out all of this nonsense for the air duck and that canteen. Today no, the weather, pretty good. It's a little hot, it's a little hot. But it's either that or rain and not being able to work. So I would take this for now. 
So yesterday I was using the chest strap, but um, after reviewing the videos, I didn't realize there was a lot that you couldn't see and that kind of stuff. So today I'm using the head strap for the camera. So see how this footage comes out today. I could lift up the rest of this snow and see exactly what kind of damage has been done underneath this front carpet. All right, let's see what is on the here. Some cockroaches. Hey, watch it there, boy. Underneath here is not as bad as I thought. Hey, I see you. You go dead. Come from India, man. Where right, he did. So where all of the water usually settles in the vehicle, by the um, drain holes. That's where most of the water sit down and settle and rust out both sides. I honestly thought underneath here would have been a lot worse, but thankfully it isn't. School here, oh shoot. Uh oh, in there, drop through the floor. I feel like this rust hole here this is just a common thing with Mitsubishi in general. Like, they had this, this, they clearly had this issue for from years ago. At the end of the day, there's a 19, what, I think 70 or 80 something vehicle. My car is a 1998 or 99 vehicle and it has the same problem. So, yeah, this seems to be just a common issue with Mitsubishi in general and how they build their vehicles are something because there's no way that i should have the same issue if a car that is so many years younger but it is what it is see this here the fell also look pretty decent surprisingly every evening when i come home from work like today i literally just came home and i came straight outside and i start working I will do this until the car is finished, pulled on and everything, and sent off to bodywork at least. That is my goal. Because I really don't want to get any further. Oh shoot, that don't sound good. I think they brought something. Hopefully, you know, bodywork man could work some miracles here and make it look decent again. So floor wise, honestly it's a lot better than I expected. My major problem is these areas, especially up on the main screen, obviously out there, them is my most major problems. And mainly the left side of the vehicle, it looking like it is my most major part right now, issue. Um, the firewall and that kind of stuff look still look pretty great, workable. So all in all, the chassis itself is not horrible. I still gotta put on the back. We take out the spare wheel, and there is a spot back there that has some rust for sure. Can't remember where, but whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> 